Hey guys, so I was having some issues with my 6700 XT, uh, the fan on the middle of it making some noise. So I'm going to show you uh, today how to fix that real quick. All right, guys, I'm going to show you really quick how to um, fix your fans, kind of lubricate your fans, the bearings on the fans. Uh, I just got this uh, 6700 XT. It was used. Um, it runs well, except for that uh, at high at high uh, pressure speeds on the fans, when the fans kick up to higher RPMs. And I think it's this uh, fan, um, but it might actually be this one because I was spinning them a second ago and this one was struggling a little bit. Um, but this fan makes a, a weird noise. And um, typically... Uh, that means, based on my research, that um, either the bearing's going out or it just needs to be lubricated. So what I went, to, what I did is I went to Walmart. Uh, you can put any kind of oil in there. People say don't use WD-40, but I got this uh, Zoom Spout. It's sewing machine oil, and what I like about it is um, there is this uh, this kind of long tube, and you can press and and get exactly what you want out of the end of it, and so. Uh, to take the lid off of the uh, Radeon 67XT, this is an XFX uh, Swift version, um, but the, the, some guys will take the fans off from the other side and then try to pull them through and flip them over. I found it's easier uh, to just take these six screws out, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, which are right here. So if, you're, if it's you know on top like that, You've got your fan, fan, fan. You got those six screws. Those are really easy to take out. Then you can take this whole shroud off. And um, when you do that, just be careful of this cable. Uh, it's it's kind of plugged in right here. You can unplug it. I just flipped it over uh, onto my workspace here. Uh, and then uh, I've already done these two fans, but basically all you have to do is take off these screws, one, two, three, and flip the fan over. And then in a second, I'll show you uh, once you flip the fan over to take it off, you kind of have to pull it apart. You got to put a lot of pressure on it to do that. Um, and, uh, and then I'll show you how to do the oil in a second once I get those off. So real quick. Okay, so I just pulled, I took the screws off and I pulled the fan through. And what I'm going to do is pull this apart from this. I tend to like to pull from, from this side instead of putting too much pressure on the blades here because I don't want to bend them or snap them or anything. They're pretty sturdy, so it probably won't happen. But you're going to pull this off and you got to use quite a bit of force. It'll kind of snap uh, off and you'll think you broke something, but it's just um, it's just how it take what it takes to get that off. All right. So I've pulled it off. It popped off just like that. And so what I'm going to do now is uh, put the fan over here. I'm going to flip this around just like so. And what you're looking to do is put one drop of oil right in that hole. All right, so I got some help from my six-year-old daughter, Evelyn. So what you're gonna do is just put that one drop there. That's all you need, one little drop of oil. And then uh, you come over here. Now, you've already got your fan off. So what I like to do is use something to kind of wipe it off. There's probably somebody out there who will tell you exactly what you need to use to wipe it off so that you don't get extra dust or things. I'm literally gonna use toilet paper because it's what was nearby. So um, you can use paper towel or you can use something that won't shed as much, you know, maybe some kind of microfiber cloth or something like that if you've got one lying around. Um, but but uh, you're just gonna gently kind of wipe in between, see all that dust that kind of accumulates there. The other thing I like to do while I have this off is kind of clean up. Sometimes you'll get some gunk around the sides right here on the inside of the fan shroud. And so I like to kind of wipe that down. Okay, so I got my fan kind of cleaned off here for the most part. And what I'm going to do is just pop it back in. You'll see it has kind of a magnetic pull. And then you'll hear it click. Then you kind of gently flip it over. And put it back on the spots where it was. Watch where the uh, fan blades go. Give it kind of a spin. All right. And then put the screws back in. So little, done. I like to just kind of hold the fan, hold the screw with my screwdriver and get it where it needs to go. So they have a little bevel. So 
as long as you kind of get it down in there, even if you like drop it a little bit, it's going to sit inside the bevel and then you can tighten it. There you go.